Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in TNO, the last days of your playing as the Divine Mandate of Siberia last time. Hello, are we attacking? Ah, oh, I guess we attacked. Uh, the Siberian Free Territory decided to attack us, but we are doing okay-ish. Not great, we need a lot more equipment, but because we had some of our divisions convert to 40 combos to match the strength of the enemy, which... 40 combo hits are hard to crack, but we're doing okay so far. But we definitely need more equipment, even though I'm kind of okay that we can hold the line for the most part, mostly. I would like to do some other stuff, but nah, Sudapatov's influence, we kind of good about that. We're prioritizing military development right now, which would be good. Alright, let's see. Now, is there anywhere that we can make an attack? We've got a couple comments to go through as well, but we'll get to those in just a little bit. Ooh, actually, we're making two divisions currently. A whole two divisions, and my cat Binky wants to leave my room. Give, please, just give me one moment. And here we are. Let's see. We might be able to strike down here and do okay if we do this. Oh, there's a little bit of lag. A little bit of lag. I'll let you guys help support the attack as well. Because my goal is just to crush the enemies as much as possible. Crush their strength. That's pretty much the name of the game right now. And it's totally okay that we're taking a lot of time. So it's, it's going to take until like 71 to actually go to war with the other unifier, whoever it's over there. So, order collapses in Egypt. Is this the beginning of something larger? Maybe. Wow. We don't have a lot of manpower, do we? Hmm. That is not bueno. Hey, we at least we beat him down there. That's good. Up next, instead of you guys moving there, it's one, two, this is a mountain top. I'm going to let you guys move around. I'm, uh, yeah, let, let them do whatever they need to do. If we can strike down here and get to Altay. Oh, actually. Oh, a little bit of lag. Oh, there goes those guys. Africa, Africa's on fire. But what else do we do? We can attack down here and then go down further south. That would be pretty good. They're taking some attrition, which is good as well. Over here is probably a good area to attack, but we're not looking very strong. Uh, I'm not really sure where to attack. Two divisions, two, 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 all over the place. We attack over river, that's not ideal. Over here, we might be able to do okay. Let's see. We might be able to do okay doing this. Ooh, get some more soft attack or something. Let's get more breakthrough. That'd be good. Alright, so you guys are attacking. You guys help attack. And then uh, you guys help attack it too. And that's a really good river to defend from. Attacking over would really suck. Good. Lower their strength. Ooh, anywhere else? Oh, level Ooh, one. I, I'm so, I'm so tempted by one. Cool. Very good. Can we win here? It looks like it's a big old yes. So one of the comments from yesterday, if I didn't say so already, that someone says I should play Hyperborea. I will eventually. Not sure when, but I will eventually. Uh, also, whenever I play as a West Russian Revolutionary Front in Western Russia, we, or at least I should go down the Red Napoleon path instead of the Zukov path or something like that. I'm, I've yet to play as them, so we'll see what happens. That'd be kind of cool. And can we actually get down there in time? Come on. Come on. Can we just encircle one division and crush them? Yes. Yes, we can. Nice. Very good. Very good. One more enemy that we don't have to worry about at all. Burgundian Bunker is the beginning of a Burgundian Spring or just more corruption? Let's look at right now. We have pretty similar division count. We probably have more, though. Even though it doesn't mean it's any better. We have maybe killed off one or two divisions, maybe? Hmm. Better industrial expertise. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. This happens pretty much every single time in any campaign in TNO, but excellente. Better industrial expertise. That's a lot of debt, not gonna lie. That is a lot of debt. One more dead enemy division does very well for us. So they probably have up to 30. Okay, they lost one, so they got another division out. Well, that's not good. Actually, if you guys attack right here, you could probably actually win, since it's light infantry and they're already pretty injured. Even though we're pretty injured as well. Oh, if we can take that radar, that'd be, that'd be beneficial for us. Mm. Oh, good, 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 good. That actually gives us 10% more soft attack, right? Yes, it did. That's really nice. 68 advanced infantry rifles. Oh, how about more artillery? Yeah, let's do that. Let our guys get situated first. And hopefully we can continue moving in. Ooh. You guys head Go ahead and move into here if we can, actually, instead. 
Hold on, everyone hold. That was not smart for me to click like that. Alright. Good, good, good. Hey, we, we, be, we beat him. Nice. You guys are struggling up here. Salazar's victory in Portugal. Oh, interesting. Uh, were they attacking here? Oh, they might have been. They might have been. You support the attack. You don't need to move up there if you win there. Can you help support the attack here? Yes, you can. Keep up. They, hey, they were defeated there. Good, 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 good. Up here, that's be that would be pretty difficult to win right there. Let's wait for our guys to move around a little bit more. Hopefully, we get some more divisions out, but we are losing some manpower, which is not good. We might be able to break over here too. Of course, we do. We have to deal with a lot of the resistance that we're taking, even though it's not a whole bunch. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. Western Mongolia is looking pretty good. All right, let's attack here then. How are the pl planes doing? You guys are up there. Fighter and Cass. Yeah, that's the only place where you could really do anything right now. There's no airbase down south yet, which is fine. Good. Is there any other decisions we can take? Oh, hiring foreign instructors, yes. State resource corporations, sure. What are we building? Those types of factories. Probably not ideal. You know what? I'm going to build some military factories because we need them. Do that and then boom, boom, boom. Cool. Good luck with that. We'll go and eat them immediately. Beat him up, beat him up, because we're going to be losing more and more manpower, which is going to suck, 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 suck. How close are we to getting our next level of army professionalism? Not that close. Hmm. How much more strength do these guys have? I can't imagine they have any more strength, do they? They do have a little bit of strength. Man, this war, I don't like this war. It's definitely a struggle for us. Oh, you guys are both... Hmm. Okay. Good. Get to Altai, Altai, whatever it is. Do we have any upgrades for generals? Maybe you. Not really. He's level 4 though, which is good. We're lacking resources. That's pretty normal. If you guys could attack and then have you guys help out and then you guys help out as well. You know what? We're going to save some manpower. There we go. It's only 9,000 more manpower, but whatever. We'll take it. Crush them. Good. They're attacking us there. Up north, we're holding pretty darn well. If we have planes here, we should probably focus on the bulge around here. Excuse me, the bulge around here. Uh, I do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm, though. Love the coffee. Help them out, help them out. Piece by piece, we will take these guys and destroy them. You guys are looking pretty good. Good. Immediately attack here, and then attack here. You got it. Alright. Military budget boost, we gotta keep doing that. We gotta spend more money. 7.1%, not bad. It's only. F oh, 6? Invest in construction? Oh, uh, sure, why not? Increases GDP. We have plenty of political power, so. Totally fine with me. Totally, 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 totally fine. We need to go that top, probably. And this one here would be good to take out as well. Hmm. We've killed off a quarter million of them. We've killed off 130,000 of our own soldiers, which is not good. Revitalize the National Service Program? Absolutely. We need more of that weekly manpower, which doesn't give us that much, but we kind of need it. Keep building, building, building. All right. We're not suffering any, any attrition, which is kind of nice. All right. I think here, or this tile's got to go first. And then, um, is anyone moving into here? No? Just me? Okay. I'll take it. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. I know this is, isn't normally what usually happens in TNO. We usually do pretty well, but I guess I was a little bit unprepared for the war against the Siberian Black Army. Course, and then again, I've never actually fought against them, so. But happy 1970, everyone. New decade, new us. Maybe. Hopefully we'll do well. If we don't do well, that's not going to be very good for us, is it? Let's see. Hmm. You guys are moving up. That's fine with me. We could attack here. Could you guys actually attack? Oh, a little bit of lag. What's going on? No. And that's fine with me. There you go. You're going to win this one. Which means you guys probably have access over here. Yes, you do. Two divisions. Going to have to get smacked down, actually. Ah, good. Get that air damage in. They're attacking us over there, which is fine. Move into here. Slowly, we will win this war. And besides, if we take a little longer, that's totally fine. 
since that does allow us to get more regional development, which is very nice. I like regional development quite a bit. Good. Oh, there's five divisions. That's a lot of guys right there. Move in. Can I actually come down there? Yes, you can. So you guys go there. You guys go there. You might be able to bust up these guys with support from there, but we're going to not risk that just yet. You guys might be able to win over here with support from here as well as here, but now nah, they wouldn't be able to make it. Do we have any... There's no divisions up there. Well, that's not good. Okay. Oh, move in, move in, move in, move in. Any other upgrades yet? No. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. If you want to attack, then we'll attack you right here. Nice. Good. Help support the attack. Help support the attack. Help support the attack as well. That should guarantee victory. That's good. That's very, very good. Mm. Oh, look at that. Seven. Not bad. Two more proof worker training. Yes. Honestly, this is not bad with just kind of waiting, not re reunifying this part of Russia. We're going to get all that political power, though, eventually to core the area, but that's fine. A little bit of lag. Probably auto-saving. There you go. Not bad, not bad. Casualties. Still going up. <laughs> uh, if we can get Krasnoyarsk, that would definitely help us out. Mm, where to attack? There's nowhere good for us to attack. I guess it's probably just best to wait for our soldiers to move around first. Because even the other two unifiers are struggling quite a bit. Even though it looks like the Ural Military District is doing relatively okay. Perm. Let's see, how, how are these guys doing? You guys have no no manpower. Okay, you have no manpower either. Yeah, okay, so everyone, is, everyone here in this campaign is struggling. Maybe except for... Actually, who won the German Civil War? No one has won the German Civil War yet in 1970. <clears throat> um, they're out of manpower. Uh, they're both out of manpower, and they have 100% resistance. And oh my goodness! Well, that's this is a weird campaign. This is a very weird campaign. Uh, um, uh, God dang it! No, everyone hold. I want to select you two. You go there. You get done there. You guys actually could probably win here then. It's good. Keep it up. Uh, if the road to Krasnoyarsk is open, I mean, who's to say to not take it, right? Anything else? Weekly manpower hopefully will be going up soon. Hopefully, unless it already is. It probably already is, actually. Yeah. Or maybe not. Go. Right. Wait. Krasnoyarsk, please. Please. Alright, that's a case. I'm gonna throw you guys right here. We probably don't have a lot of supplies anymore. You guys do that too. And then we're gonna struggle right, right down there too. Good. <clears throat> hey, good. Let's grab some more. Base bleed, even more soft attack. I should have got that earlier. Hey, we captured the junction, drashing through the forested mountains surrounding the city. Our men have overrun the city of Krasnoyarsk, and with it we've taken the widely discussed Krasnoyarsk Railway Junction. The tall, uh, mighty station building stretched across urban space and dominated the soldiers' view. It was a logistical fortress stuffed with bulky metal trains resting on the platforms. With the crucial junction of the Trans-Siberian Railway now under our control, we can now more vastly improve our logistical capabilities and perform the Herculean task of reuniting Russia, piling heaps of ammo caches and supply crates onto the trains. We can deliver these resources to our frontiers far more effectively, as well as increase the speed in which communications can be delivered. Our grasp over Krasnoyarsk Railway Junction will stretch our influence across Siberia and is a step towards extending our power to reunite Russia under our watch. A boon to be sure. More speed, less supply consumption, more construction speed. That's exactly what we could use. Even though personally, <clears throat> I would have liked more attack, but that's just me. Alright. Uh, we're going to need some air bases around here. Get level 2, that'll be fine. Build up some more civilian factories for now as well. That'll be okay. <clears throat> awesome. So let's, let's, let's let these guys go in. We got a little bit higher GDP. Maybe slightly more manpower. Maybe. Good. You guys are in. You're getting attacked. Immediately begin att assaulting this area as well. Good. Good, 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 good. Casualties. 137, Not too much more than it was when we started the episode, but we just have to be very careful how to... Um. Oh, did we lose the battle there? We might have. It's fine. You know what? To hell with these guys. All you soldiers go in. Ruin their strength. Ruin it. Let's see. 62. 1. Nice. Good. 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 Kill them off. Kill them off. 
So we got all of this done. It is 1970, so we can actually go down here now. Let's grab some civilian construction four. Help build things a little bit faster. That'd be quite bueno. They're not attacking us anymore, which is kind of okay with me. But oh, attacking over a river is just so god awful. I really don't want to try it, especially with weakened divisions. Not really smart, I would say, if we did, if we were to do so. But coming down here is a good. Two two weak divisions or four weak divisions versus one weakish division. Not bad, not bad. All right, you guys move in. You guys come here, and then you guys do this as well. Good. This is still looking a little weak down here. Oh man. A three hundred. Nice. How how are we doing with this? They're slowly becoming more and more. Not bueno, we'll put it. You guys attack. You guys help support the attack. I could risk it. I could risk it so much. I should have got my motorized on here. Try to go for Novosibirsk. We lost a junction. Krasnoyarsk. Oh, that sucks. I have a good feeling that we'll get it back, though. A very good feeling. Force the attack. I normally don't like doing that right now in cases like this, but we have to. Take back the junction. We're not going to give it up. Never going to give you up, man. Never going to give you up. Oh, they were, were they not defeated? Kemero oh, we took Kemerovo. Oh, boy. Can you guys get up there, perhaps? All right, so they're moving the soldiers around. That's totally fine with us. Ooh, I want to attack here, but there's just not enough divisions or strength to really do a really good attack. Come on, guys. Move in. Move, 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 move. Thank you. We got it back. And that helped with our speed, which is good. You guys are moving that way. You guys are moving in. That'll be good. Get into here if we can. How's the north looking? Pretty much the same as we left it. Hmm. Hey, Kuznek Basin captured. Our men spill over the ruins of the Kuznek Basin, battling through the remains of the enemy fortifications and pockets of wounded squadrons. With gunfire still crackling in the distance, the embers of the burning structures clawed at the sky with roaring flames. Wind rushed through the Kuznek Depression, carrying with it the blackened stench of coal reserves now under our control. With such natural rich resources now under our administration, we have access to, gen to generate immense amounts of energy. <coughs> The power produced by excavated coal reserves can promptly increase our manufacturing capabilities, as well as provide energy to the many citizens living within our territory, a highly valuable and sought-after location in central Siberia. This prized asset under our jurisdiction must be put to use soon, so we may be able to reap the benefits of the coal mines before any of our enemies manage to snatch it from us in themselves. Which actually should help trade, even though oh, we're actually lacking some aluminum, which is not good. I'm kind of surprised to see we're lacking aluminum. Oh, you are not going to do that, son. Oh, yes, you just did. All right, well, that sucks. Come on, get over there. We got to break these guys. Come on, go, 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 go. Break them. Break them. We can't afford to have this division defeated, too, so. Now you're going to hold, and we're going to strike you down. And right here, we're going to strike these guys down as well. I'm tired of you stupid division doing your normal stupid stuff. Oh, they wanted to do that, too. You know what? Go here. Go here if you can. A little bit of lag, auto saving, no, so be it. One division encircled, so be it. We're gonna risk it. Gotta risk it. We gotta push over. Support weapons, good, more breakthrough. If only 8,000 manpower, grab even more breakthrough. It's not much more, but you know, we'll take it. I will gladly take it. We broke through, we can't get Kemerovo yet, so be it. Oh, uh, you guys already won there. We can't really quite win there, so you're gonna hold for now. And, you guys are doing okay here. You beat him up, good. He gave him the one to buckle my shoe. Oh, man. At this point, I'm going to switch you over here. We need you on this part of the army. Yeah. We definitely need him over there. Ooh. They do have land forts. I'm going to call off the attack. If we lose Kimrovo, that's fine. I said, hold, hold, dude. Hold. Let's get a little more reorganized. Get the motorized in here, because with them, we can push pretty darn well, probably. Oh, we lost the basin, so be it, whatever. Alright, so we're going to help support the attack here. So then you guys attack here. There we go. Pushing them back. Especially in the south, which is good. Ooh, what's going on? Just don't get in so cold. Beat them up. I really want to attack here. Oh, we got some more stuff. Education and poverty. Yes, please. Yes, 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 please. Well, nope, no, we don't want poverty, but help us get rid of that. Those modifiers. Alright, so you guys are looking pretty good. Attack here. You guys should be able to do that. 
Should, should, should. Thank you. Move in. We're doing really well now. To a degree. Oh, actually, I've got an idea. Oh, man. Could you guys abandon this area? Come down here. Cut everyone off and go down to Gordno Altaisk. Sacrifice Kimarobo for now. That'd be fine. Oh, god dang it. We're out of manpower. No, we're not. Fake news. Military budget boost. Hold on. Oh, don't don't cut spending. Oof. <clears throat> They're out of manpower too. That's good. Oh, come on. If we can race down here fast enough, we can do really well. So we're both basically out of manpower. I mean, obviously we're not technically yet, but basically. Good. Can you guys actually get down there? We might actually be able to pull off a smaller encirclement, maybe. I need you guys to begin attacking here as well. If we can encircle these guys, that'd be great. Are they? T oh, they're attacking us in other places. That's not good. This is one of the probably tougher wars in TNO that I've fought in a while. Come on, come on, break them, break them, break them, break them. We don't want these guys to live. Come on. Oh my goodness, you guys are stalling. Oh, come on. What a bunch of BS. I'm going further south. Screw it. Original plan. Go, 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 go. If you can take enough territory fast enough, they can't do anything. No. To hell with you. Come on, motorized. I'm glad we kept you in the game. Whew. I'm glad you, they didn't die yet. Uh, yes, yes. More weekly manpower by a thousand. We need those guys immediately here with us. Go, 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 go. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Oh, hello. Don't, don't attack like that. Please don't attack. Stretching our lines out. That's fine. That's fine. We're stretching their lines out too. Immediately be, continue moving in. We've got it. And actually go down here. Take all supply bases. Begin attacking immediately because we got to move. Move, 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 move. Ugly. If you take that supply base, they will get no more supplies. Good. Don't let them in. Do not let them move. Good, good, good. You're holding out. That's good. We couldn't quite win right there. That's fine. You are not going to go down there. You're going to just take all these other territories. Oh, we're slow losing here. That's not good. Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Come on. Move, 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 move. I know supply sucks. Oh, we're going to lose that. Just don't lose the division. There you go. Now, they wanted that. We're going to beat the snot out of them here. You guys wanted that. We're going to move down further more. And we're out of manpower. That's not good. Go ahead. You move down here, too. And you... I'll support the attack. God, this is a... This is a... This is a tough war. Woof. I'm going to have you help support the attack right there. Or... You both move here. The time to kill them off is right now. Uh, you know what? Help... Uh, I don't really don't want to lose you guys. Go up here. The motorized did their job. These guys are good, as good as dead, so... Let the infantry do this for now. If we kill these guys off, well, the war is probably going to be won, but we're still out of manpower. We still have to deal with the resistance to a degree, so. I'm going to show you how help out right there. And you help out right there. There you go. Good. We Oh, we encircled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven divisions are down here. Oh, and the beginning to die. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, you don't need to do that. Come up here. Come back up. Go back up north. Oh boy, are they starting to abandon the line a little bit? It looks like they might be. Oh, that was probably the greatest move we did for the war here. Oh, don't let them in. come in, though. Please don't let them come in. Oh, they're, they're going to move in war. That's fine. As long as we got the divisions. A little bit of supply there. Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. We're going to attack here. Looking at my political power as well. We're going to go to go up there. Barnal, Ixim, Novosibirsk. Kui Baishav. Yes, 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 yes. And you begin attacking right there immediately. Come down here. Encourage agricultural mechanization. Yes, please. That's all that matters. As long as we get our motorized to force them to go to the cities, we will ha have won the war. Oh, my goodness. Hop out, hop out, hop out, hop out, hop out. Crush them. Normal infantry is doing great. You gotta help. Just go. Now, you guys actually go down there, and actually you are going to go right there. Boom. That part of the war is done. This doesn't matter. As long as we can capture the victory points, that's all that matters. I'll actually go here and get to Kimurobo again. 
A recapture the aircraft plant. The recent fall of Nova Sibiris and the retreat of the enemy forces across the frontiers of the battlefield has left us in total control of the now idle Nova Sibiris aircraft plant. Towering and dormant, the factory was constructed before the Great Patriotic War and has manufactured vehicles capable of flight for administrators ever since. Now the plant under our control, we will soon have access to a fresh arsenal of aircraft fit for any purpose of our armies. Motor engines roar and squadrons of planes may fly in the Siberian skies bearing our insignia. To first dominate the plains and wastes of central Siberia by land, we must tame the wild airs of our broken Russia. With this plant, the future may be ours for centuries to come. Thank you very much. And I apologize. I did not say I was Father Mokulover in the very beginning. We, I am Father Mokulover. My apologies. It's just I was, I was so focused. So focused on taking out this nation. Because it's not easy. We got the basin back. Come on. Is that it? Is that all we need? Oh, it might be. It might be. Oh, come on. Oh, we did it! Yes! Yes! The Lord is with us, my friends. The Lord is absolutely with us. We did it, my friends. We did it. And we can integrate these guys. We did this really well. The temptations of sin? No, sin cannot tempt, tempt us right now. Let us do Siberian reunification. We get stability. Naval XP. And we become known as the Divine Mandate of Siberia. Did you know that? <laughs> now that's beautiful. We have a sh darker shade of gray. Oh, the Lord is with us. Exert influence in Kazakhstan. Uh, I guess we might as well, right? Military intervention. Oh, if we do that, we go to war with Kazakhstan. D do they care? We have 75 days. Oh, look at that manpower. 300,000. Let's go ahead and just integrate as much as we possibly can. We can do it all. Screw it. We're going to go to war immediately then. Uh, before we do that, though, let's double check this first. Oh, they have 11 and 19. Their divisions probably aren't as good as ours. they got plenty of manpower like us. All right, at this point... And, oh, my God. That's a lot of deficit. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of deficit. Well, then. Well, that's not good. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to feel about that. But, you know, debt is but a number, right? Military intervention. Doesn't matter. Pelvodar? Well, we'll take that pretty quickly. Uh, actually, we'll build up infrastructure here first, just because I want to make sure that we'll do okay there. That's a lot of deficit. Holy crud. What if we spent more money? 23... Eh, that's not bad. Now, if we're going to spend that much money, we might as well try to get more stuff out of it, right? Hey, base bleed. Not bad. Man, we were cruising with, like, no manpower for a while. That was not bueno. Alright. At this point... All of you guys who are not 40 combo with are going to become the Holy 40s. And into wonders. We've come far. Where our government was once seen as a mere warlord, holding onto a scrap of Russian land, we can now assert ourselves as a proper nation on the world stage, having made it into the final basket of candidates to reunify Russia. Our country can stand proud of its accomplishment and look to the road ahead with determination. This progress has filled our citizens with awe even as we rebuild the country, its infrastructures, and its industries. However, our successes have rendered the wonders of the old much less critical to our efforts, where once holding onto these relics of a happier past gave our government legitimacy and gave our people the tools needed for survival. The wonders under our control are now a tiny portion of our overall assets. They will no doubt continue to inspire our people, and they stand as mementos of the warlord era. But the age we are holding on to wonders was of great importance has come to an end. On to a certain future. Or uncertain future. We're going to need more divisions. Doesn't matter what it costs, we're going to need mole. Mole, mole, mole. And we have a focus we can do. The time of liberation. Thus the time has come for the devout to spread their arms and embrace our land entire. Despite the pain and hardship that is to follow, let us not mistake the upcoming tribulations for the end of days, but the birth of a holy Russia. When the great deceiver weakens our spirit and fills us with fear, remember that the Lord stands behind us always, and that he loves us as we do our own children. Wow. We have a lot of uh, libertarian socialism support here, who has no authority in Russia, but... At least our portion of Russia, but still. Uh, now we kind of get. We don't need exercise for that then. Abolish exploitation. Our poverty rate will begin to improve. I kind of like that one. <clears throat> Even in tragic times, we must keep the faith. All of God's children throughout the land of central Siberia have been exploited by the agents of Satan, insidious despots, and heathenous communists alike. Our reckoning has come for these most evil of men, and their dis disposition heralds the resurrection of hope for the common people. No man, woman, or child under the guidance of Father Men shall be exploited ever again. <clears throat> get more monthly population and we lose some output but I think we'll be doing probably okay actually how much equipment do we have uh we are out of artillery still hmm we still have some tanks I haven't used them yet at all it might be worth using one maybe now by one actually I'm going to change you to artillery because we don't have that but whatever uh, I might just convert you guys to more APC stuff perhaps
Actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's duplicate it just because I want to make it a little different. And then let's do this one just in case. Just in case. Just in case things go poorly for us. So. And you're all going to be APCs for now. We probably don't have this many APCs, do we? We do. Nice. So we're going to take this out and replace it with more APCs. And then uh, APCs. Not bad. Better army professionalism. Yes, sir. Those two words seem to be the ultimate lesson in the history of military theory. It is not the quality of guns or weaponry that make an army, but discipline. Those men that hold until death because of a command will be the ones to claim victory. In a world of absolute war, of brave new weaponry, it seems that we often forget the simple fact. An army cannot function without these two words. Luckily, anti-corruption programs in the army and new boot camps have brought our army one step closer to the ultimate goal of Spartanic valor. No longer will a man defect or serve political masters. They will serve the generals and nothing less. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, let's take a look at this. So we have... Still 900? Do we really still have 900? Uh, okay. Well, time for APC City. Forty combat with APCs. Obviously not perfect. Is this bugged? We just made. We still have one of these guys, right? No, no. Hmm. IFV is kind of. I don't want to see that. Falling just victory in Spain. Well, good job, guys. Abolishing exploitation. Well, why not? And repairing Bukharan's sin. And his unholy judgment and imprisonment of the fellow man. The heathen Bukharan did declare himself above the Lord, who did pour his wrath upon the land. All gulags will be dismantled and the prisoners released. There is but one judge above all, and his gulag is fit for only sinners. And we get the, vent, the sermon of the prisoners. Hey, we got enough infantry equipment. Finally, artillery is super weak, though. Holy cow. Let's see. Artillery. Yeah, we're going to maximize you out. Oh, yeah, we only have one. Motorized. APCs are fine. Civilian construction. Let's go ahead and grab some more output for cap growth in factories and estate. Ooh, 15% more output, though. That's nice. I'll grab this one first. Why not? Keep building the roads there. That'll be fine. Debt is but a number. Wow. I guess we'll fight the year old military district then. Three military factories. Not bad. Hey, we must record more stuff. Get more artillery. We need as much artillery right now as possible. Wow. Hey, if they have no manpower, that's good. Of course, they're going to get cores over this territory, which is not good. They even have tanks. Woo-hoo! And even though they say they have no manpower now, they eventually will. Oil crosses erupts. Nothing good can come out of this. Obviously, nothing good can. Black gold, red sand. So be it. Early fighters. Cool. Grab some more. That'd be quite bueno. Where are my other planes? Do they die? Wait. Did, um. What? Maybe, I don't remember killing off my planes. We saw them earlier in the episode. I'm pretty sure, but okay. Why not? The sermon <clears throat> of the prisoners. Thus saith the gospel according to Luke. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of the sight to the blind to fr set free those who are oppressed. How corrupt it was must, must one soul be to deserve imprisonment? Ought a school child, failing an exam from stress, be thrown into the Siberian depths for the failures of his labor? Brothers and sisters, I say to you today that coal-filled depths of the slave camp, built to forge railroads and produce riches which with which none here may keep. Houses not criminals, but mistreated brothers and sisters. Just like you or I, imagine a reckless, smiling child falling deep into the depths of the Lake Baikal. Would it be our duty as parents to children of this world, to hold the child under, to allow the frostbite and drowning to suffice as punishment for his mistakes? Or would it not be the right to fight for our child, to rescue him and ensure his soul is secured in his right, and aid him to become better throughout all his efforts? This is now how we ought to know, how we must treat those fallen men who frozen in their own lake I call for so long. As the suitors burn their lungs and the calluses envelop their hands, let them be in the midst of you, and me, you or me, and we shall lead them to a new life. It was then that all manner of man, woman, and child set forth to labor in the depths of the Amurlag. No longer slaves breaking rocks at the crack of the whip. No, these were God's chosen, freeing and releasing those brothers and sisters deemed dangerous by tyrants long past, and allowing them to become children of the Lord. Amen. Look at that GDP. Not bad. Could be better, though. Could be better. A kingdom of God on earth. State religion. Less political power, more stability, worse part ideology, drift defense. More despotism, the spring of heaven must be most high. Bridge of the gap, more stability. Fear not he who holds thine hand. And near to the faithless, secularism, huh? More libertarian socialism. Uh, I don't want to get too much libertarian socialism because we're pretty close to being overwhelming a godly Russia. 
Ooh, more attack and defense on core territory. Better surrender limit. More stability. Ooh, more political power. I like that one. Bridge of the Cap might be where we hit it. Let's see. Enlightening the Faithless. Academic base does improve. Faith is a choice. Affirmative action. We lose more uh, political power, which I don't like. More non core mind power. A syncretic Russia. Requires bridging the gap. Less political power, more surrender limit. Denouncing the sinners. Secular, yet holy. We get more population. Limit, unite the flock. Ooh. A kingdom of God on earth. I kind of like that one. Let's try that one. The divine mandate of Siberia serves only the Lord. Father man serves only the Lord. The future of this holy nation, once united, will serve only the Lord. Our spirit rejoices in God the Savior, who grants his mercy to unbelievers as we must too. But to turn our back on Christian rule would be to turn our back on him. Yeah. Someone did say that we should probably back, uh, make the communists back off, so... I mean, it's libertarian socialism, but still... We do lose political power, but we're probably going to lose political power anyways. So. And I and I am a, a little probably unduly worried about this, but whatever. Smart academic base. Time and time again, societies crumble. Uh, if you'd like to read about this one, this happens pretty much every campaign. So, towards the future, and we might have already read this earlier. When a society experiences conflict, be it economic recession, civil war, a social conflict, money or inattention is often drawn away from schooling, creating a vicious cycle that slows down technological progress and discovery and kills curiosity. We get even more output. Nice. And that'd come very handy, especially for artillery. Guns looking good. We're, we're doing okay, guys. We're doing okay. And I love it. Military budget boost. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. Hey, 7.8%. Not bad. You know that, that, ooh, that deficit. Oh, buddy boy. That is not good. 1, 2, 3. Not bad. Hmm. Yeah, we'll probably build up stuff here, too, as well. So. Uh, we'll do that. Hey, we went to war. Cool. I have a good feeling that we'll, we'll probably do okay here. We can still do uh, Temptation of Sin, which... Okay, well, whatever. How many divisions do they have? Na 13 to 19? They've lost. We've lost an equal amount of soldiers. That's okay. That's actually okay, because we have 40 combat with, so I'm not too worried about that too much. Kazakhstan will probably fall while you guys are distracted, killing each other, which is great. Love it. You guys are stalling out, though. 52 factories, 106. As long as we continue to do well, we shall be okay. Well... I guess you could say that about anything, really. 24 to 27 divisions. We have more divisions divisions than them. I think the WRRF is going to capitulate. Yeah, 37 divisions. Mm, that's not very much, man. That's not very much. I'm sorry to say. That just, that just ain't very much. And if we can take Kazakhstan as well. Mm. Yeah, I think this, we're going to be able to reunify Russia. Let's see. Ooh, support opens four. I'm, it's always worth... I think, it's, in my mind, it's always worth doing this stuff. I think it works out pretty well for us. Let's get some better anti-tank. 25 billion, that's all. Hey, the kingdom of God on earth. The spring of heaven most high. It was upon the seventh day of the Lord's week that our father looked upon the lowly and dis formerly disheartened who now join alongside his holy dominion in hopes of bringing about a new era of Christian devotion. In his wisdom, however, he knew so easily that not all were so easy, so devoted to the church and the belief in God, rather. It was a fiery image of the unity which they cling to, politics over religion, faith or action over faith. And yet with the smiling faces and bright days brought upon so many, our father could not help but feel the pull of the Lord most closely rather than deciding to kneel down to the unfaithful. It was thus that our father found himself descending the grand staircase of his grandeur or his grander cathedral, finding himself trudging through the endless frost and snowfall to reach the city square upon the bank of the Amalon. As the farmhand and soldiers looked on, and the crowd began to form, it was our father who mounted the podium donning, donning in the square. Here, our great father finally got a closer and more personal look into so many of his father's beautiful, captivating eyes, and he finally began to perform his holy sanctities as he foresaw them, assembled, stepping down and working throughout the crowd, speaking softly into the ear with a kind hand upon the soldier. The people were calm, they were blessed, and they were happy, for this... Mass was not like the one ignited by the fires of conquest by some of the meek folk, rather. This was one of joy, of tranquility, of peace. It was here that her father noticed some of the more retreated faces of the unfaithful, looking down upon the earth as if, if, as if in shame and regret. And it was here that her father navigated towards them and embraced them, for difference and disagreement shall not tear family asunder. Make holy the Sabbath. A godly Russia. Cool. There should be no temples in holy Russia, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. Thus must this land, torn asunder by infidelity and misery, be led into the redeeming light of the Lord and made godly for all his world to bear witness. I think it's a manpower too. Very nice. Over and another division down here. Awesome. We've got to save some political power up though. Just because we're going to need to core this territory. Ooh, a little bit of lag. They might have won. No, not yet? Okay. That's weird when Russia is becoming more and more united than Germany. 
And we're approaching 1971, too. Well, 1971, as well, I should say. Alright, well, I'd say we're doing pretty darn well. Oh, oh, how are you guys doing down here? The Arabian Republic, huh? Ah, uh, Mr. Sunglasses. Abdullah al Salfal Salal. Cool. Yeah, losses. 40 combat width. There's no comparison. Yeah. I should probably stick to 40 combat width. Oh, there's a lake. Anyone want to take a dip? Wait, do you guys have to go... Oh, there's another lake around here, too. Oh, maybe just one big old lake. Oh, it is one big old lake. A god love Russia. Enlightening the faithless. Unbelievers may revel in the cold life devoid of the Lord's light if they so desire, but it will not stop Father Men's proselytation of the masses, as glory and love must be spread wherever his followers tread, and every convert means another soul saved for the kingdom of heaven. Awesome. Very bueno. Even more artillery. We want to hit him even harder, harder, harder. Yeah, why, why, why bother influencing Kazakhstan? We can just take him out and make him holy. How much further must we go? They're only 44% of the way there. They lost 103,000. That's so many guys lost. Why do you resist the Lord's good word? And they just... They get just backed up. Holy cow. They're probably 20 combat with you. Yeah. Between 20 and 40 combat with, there's little to no comparison. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Wow, they just took 17,000 more casualties. Civilian budget boost. Screw it. More, 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 more. The Arc Angels Conference. It would not amount to anything. Uh, the Western Revolutionary Front has announced that they are holding a multi-day conference featuring representatives from socialist parties and other leftist organizations across the world. Well, I think you got bigger things to worry about, guys. Just saying. Enlightening the faithless. Denouncing the sinners. The seven abominations of Fessa, agents of Satan throughout Russia, but even the most innocent of babes may be corrupted by sin. Thus, our laws reflect the good of the Lord and reject the moral filth of Satan, from brutal murder to avaricious usury. Beautiful. Would you guys like to move in still? Alma Alta, huh? Oh. And, oh, there goes Iraq. The Iraq collapses into civil war. Haven't we done this already? Well, hopefully you can actually win your civil war, unlike the Germans. Which I might have to get in, into, involved with, just because I, I hope they do something. Please. <laughs> Please. $27 billion in terms of deficit. Not bad. We've only killed off 150,000 of them. Uh, what other city do they... Oh my goodness. Octal? Wow. And this front seems really quiet, which I don't like. I hope they, someone kills each other off. But hey, if you want to get more resistance, that's fine with me. Just ruin your manpower and equipment. That's totally cool. Can we see their stockpile? We kind of can. Denouncing the sinners. Yeah, they don't have a lot. No one has a lot. Cool. And unite the flock. Father Men serves all, all as a loyal God's shepherd on this mortal plane. The whole of Russia must merge in love and faith, and so that we may reunite our fellow men or people and bring under bring them under his divine light. A holy war awaits us all. Then who are we alive? Who are left? We'll be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will always be with the Lord. More army professionalism, slightly decreased scoring time. The Lord is my strength and my shield. So we can do this. We'll have to control all of the Siberian and Ural states, so be it. Prepare for the unification war. It has to be after 71, so. Totally fine. We're getting closer and closer, which means there's probably only one more episode in this, in this campaign, which is fine. Totally fine. So we're going to have a, definitely a shorter campaign. We've killed off almost 200,000 of them. Wow. All right, we won. Beautiful, my friends. Let's go ahead and integrate as much as we can. And Ursk will be next, which will be able to core in a little while. Wow. Oh, you guys are still alive. These little Russian modifiers. Or tiny Russian neural states. And... Hey, GDP went up again. Great. Can't do that one yet. Free military factories. We need so much artillery. Wow. So much artillery. Planes? We got plenty of cast. Wow. Holy cow. We need more aluminum and stuff too, though. Cool. The Lord is my strength and my shield. The riverbank of Amalam held not only the lovely city of those abandoned by tyrants of the old yonder days. No, for this have become the far more under the guiding love of God Almighty. A dominion of the devoted, a dominion of laborers, soldiers, fathers, and sons, and a dominion of Emmanuel himself. All had to be under the vessel of our God, our Father himself. Yet Amalon hadn't contained the work of our Father had to just a riverbank. Rather, this fortress of God stretched from across the Russian nation for all to hear and rejoice. However, 
the marauder, the despot, and the cultists gave not cries of glory and salvation, rather they cried with a burning hate as they prepared for their arms and ammunition for the days to come, and the deciding fate of the land of God's chosen, having come so far from the depths of the tundra to bring forth the light of the Lord. Nevermore was this to be the land of destruction wrought by the wrathful and the persecutor, for this was to be God's kingdom on earth, and it's under the banner of our Lord father that we shall guide or under our father that we shall guide ourselves towards such redemption for all those who would bear the name russian the peaceful loving tranquil nature of the lord was never to be dismissed through all that we had done however the men of our world do not understand that such notions taught throughout the scriptures and thus necessitated the just hand of a more old testament bringing forth the justice and fear of our god through the fields of war so that we may triumph over the conquest of Gehenna. Gehenna. In this battered world. The burning fields gave no images of power and glory to the mind of our father, however, as he continued to stare. He knew that this was no way for mankind to act to one another, to tear each other apart without re retraction. One day, this world would see the last of its war and embrace one another in the workings of our Lord's love. And on that day, our father swore he would rest. Blessed be the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. And only 30 billion in terms of annual deficit. Hey, there we go. Nice. And if we need to, go ahead and train. We can finally train these guys. Uh, oh, yeah, we need. We just need more artillery. That's it. That's it. But we should be doing a lot better on artillery now. Minus 1,100. We've got plenty of guns. So artillery is what we really, really need. As well as aluminum and rubber for planes. But what else is new? You guys really don't want to kill each other off quickly, huh? Falange Spain, who is led by... They are led by... Del Bolsh. Hey, at least we rock. Defeated Iraq. Portugal's led by Caetano. Cool. International focus. China still got some focuses. Japan still got some focuses as well. It's led by Takagi. Kurdistan defeated the Iraqi Republic. Whoa. Takagi. Cool. Get okay, 0.96 every day, even though because we are integrating like six different places, seven different places at the same time. Kurdistan. Oh, can we see Kurdistan win? That'd be kind of cool. Wow, you got a, you got a crazy stare, man. You got a crazy look about you. But that's all right. That's all right. We still kind of like you. A little bit. Cool. When you're done, go right there. Upgrades. Keep them on medium for now because we probably have plenty of stuff we get upgrade. 120 billion in terms of GDP. Not bad. Go ahead and slash that. Keep building. Keep building. One, two, three, four, five. Finally, is not bad at all. Hey, more military factories. Not bad. Well, this is probably one of the weird campaigns. I'm putting so much factories on artillery of all things. Hey, we covered some more. Hey, 600,000 manpower. Not bad. Four, how many more factories do we have? Holy cow. That's a lot of factorinos. APCs? I mean... Oh, wait. We not... Oh, the formation of the second turn. That makes sense. Oh, I didn't convert these guys. No wonder we didn't, didn't lose any APCs. There we go. Now we don't have any APCs, right? Hey, we're 47. Not bad. Not bad at all. And right now you only have 15 armor, which means a 40 combo with division. Can probably pierce you, but that's okay. It's 1971, and we need to reunify the motherland. Prepare for unification war, in which we all shall do what? More manpower, probably. We got plenty of command power for this. We lose war support, but we get more political power, which I like. Infrastructure is always great. Military factories cost us more, so let's not do that one. And a grand showdown. We have overcome our obstacles. We've read this before. Final conflict. Go right. Go redhead if you'd like to read this. Uh, war production. We can't have enough military factories for now. And anything else? Acquired territories. Very cool. Only one command power. We get 0.9 today. That's not bad. Hope these guys are ready. Hope they're ready. We're going to get 2.28 every day. I guess that was the last focus that we could do. Huh, that's kind of... Uh, that's okay. I'm a little disappointed, I suppose, with that last focus, but... I wish it was maybe a little bit more. Oh, let's get some better advanced artillery. That'd be kind of nice. This is kind of weird. Uh, if we go to war, with can we go to war with both of them at the same time? I kind of might prefer that one. Probably. Just saying. What do we do with political power? How is army professionalism? Oh, we do have a professional army too, so that's actually pretty good. We get no debuffs. We can't quite get to Spartanic discipline, but that's okay. Industrial base is looking not bad. Agriculture? Or no, this is rudimentary manufacturing lines. We have rudimentary manufacturing. We'll get factory complexes too soon. Poverty is doing great we'll get down to hopefully soon to 15 to 25 percent poverty mechanization is looking not too bad either and we should get up to modern agriculture which will be bueno research facilities eh, they're doing okay an academic base well it's chugging along as best as we can 
uh, prepare for war production, establish some of that. We should be good enough to do that, though. But we're going to end today's episode there and basically go to war at the beginning of the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we shall reunify all, or at least most, of Holy Russia under Alexander Men. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.